like so one of the best treatments for engorgement the pain of ascites and even when you're trying to decrease a wean your milk supply which you should do with a lactation consultant is cabbage leaves all right so I want to show you how I use it and how I instruct my patients to use it. You're going to start off with a whole cabbage, good old whole cabbage. I've already cut, so use a knife and just cut the base off because what you want to do is try as best as possible to peel it in layers. You want a full layer. I've got my colander here because once I'm done, you're going to want to wash it just to make sure that you don't have any pesticides. Okay, so there we go. Nice big layers, right? You want to peel off whole sheets. And it'll make sense once we get to using them. Sometimes it's actually easier to go from the base and lift up. Just like that. Perfect. I've got more than one here. There. So start the base. Loosen it up. Let's find a hole. There we go. There we go. And you just want to pull and peel. Just get whole leaves of cabbage, just like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is all we need for just one treatment. I'm going to take this and wash it, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay. I'm all about the reusable Ziploc bags, and this one's really large enough. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take the whole cabbage leaves and put them carefully in the Ziploc bag. So I've got my two cabbage leaves in here, and then we're gonna put them in the Ziploc bag, and then we're gonna put these in the freezer, okay? So two cabbage leaves, I'm gonna put these in the freezer. This is just one treatment. You can do as many treatments as you, was, as you want or need. Just keep them in the freezer until you're ready to use them. All right. Let's freeze it. All right, so into the freezer they go. We're gonna let these freeze. Cabbage is full of water, so it's gonna really get nice and cool, and um, the water inside the um, cabbage leaf is gonna freeze, and it makes it feel so good on your skin. All right, so we'll be back to check on these in a little bit. Okay, so you wanna take your cabbage leaves out of the freezer, let them come back to room temperature. When they come out of the freezer, they're gonna be really crunchy and frozen. If you try and put them on, everything's just gonna break. Again, remember, they're like icicles. Right, but once they've defrosted, this is what you're going to be left with, right? And take out the other side. There you go. Perfect. And the reason why I love it is because it's nice and cold and it's going to mold to your breast perfectly. Now, I'm wearing a tank top. Um, H&M cotton. It's so much easier to put these on with a tank top than, um, than a bra. And so all you're going to do is you're going to slot it in feels good though okay and then you're just gonna shape it around your breast you can cut a hole for the nipple if you want so you can leave your nipple out and then you're just going to leave it in place for about 15 to 20 minutes do this no more than two or three times a day any more than that and then you're gonna start downgrading your milk supply so unless you're trying to wean you only want to do this about twice a day for 15 to 20 minutes um, make sure you continue to pump and you continue to move the milk. Remember what I say, the only way you're going to protect your milk supply is by continuing to demand of your body, right? Continuing to empty your breasts efficiently and effectively, then you're going to protect your milk supply. So leave the cabbage leaves, just lay back and let it start working. We don't quite know what it is in cabbage that makes it so effective at taking care of um, the pain of mastitis or engorgement. We do know that it has some anti-inflammatory um, properties to it and that probably has a lot to do with it but in the meantime enjoy this really affordable easy to do mostly um readily available right it's right in your refrigerator for most of us um remedy for dealing with clogged ducts and engorgement and mastitis if you get mastitis likely you're only going to be treating one side if it's engorgement that's the issue you're going to be putting them on both sides um clogged ducts again usually it's one side but it can be both sides um, but this is how you do it. So let me know your thoughts, put your questions down in comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the alert button so you know when I've got a new video up. All right, tribe, thanks for watching and happy boobing.